You're watching Money Matters. I'm Clayton Sandell in New York. The ever popular blue jean is getting a stylish new makeover. Cotton Inc. has teamed up with the National Jean Company and colleges and other companies across the country in a campaign to recycle your old blue jeans into an environmentally safe insulation used to build houses. For more on this, we're happy to be joined by Jana Meyerwitz. She's with Style House PR, and she helped organize this week's Denim Drive and Benefit. We're also joined by Paula Rosario. She's the Vice President of Strategic Alliances for Cotton Incorporated. Ladies, thank you very much for joining us today. Nice to be here. So Paula, I want to start with you. Tell us about the process. How does denim get turned into home insulation? It's actually a very interesting process. After we've collected all the denim jeans, they go off to a company called Allen Company, and that's where they're all bailed into big pallets and squares. After that, they move on to JBM Fibers, and that's where they're actually reprocessed and pulled apart and turned into their actual natural cotton state. From there, the fibers move to Bonded Logic, where ultra-touch natural cotton fiber insulation is created. Now, how does denim stack up against other forms of insulation? Is it better or worse than, than the traditional materials? The ultra-touch is actually more superior for many different reasons. It has no formaldehyde and no harsh chemicals that are used in this process, so it can be installed without gloves. It's better for people who may have allergies. It uh, protects against pests. It's hypoallergenic, and it's actually 30% better acoustically than your traditional insulation. And Jenna, if you could, I know you've, you've brought one of these insulation yes. blocks with you. Can you show that to us? This is it. Um, it's, you can't feel it. It's incredibly soft and it definitely has a much more cozier feel than most insulation and it really boggles our minds that the denim goes from being a pair of jeans like this that we have here to a piece of insulation. It's amazing. How many pairs of jeans did it take to make that, that block of uh, insulation? Um, Paula will have a better stat for me exactly on one block. I do know that it takes 500 pairs of jeans to insulate one home, which is uh, helped us create our goal for this denim drive at National Jean Company. Okay, and Paula, I wanted to ask you, in some of uh, the, the reading materials, you, you guys have said that cotton has sort of gotten a bad rap as a, as a as an environmental uh, material. Why does it have this sort of bad eco profile? I'm really not sure about that, but I can tell you that uh, denim is made of cotton. It is recyclable and renewable, and that's why it makes uh, a great end product in Ultra Touch. And how does this work exactly? Uh, the, the, it gets recycled and then does it get sold? Uh, I'm sort of wondering uh, what cotton ink gets out of all of this. Well, what we get all out of all of this is number one, we get to inspire communities. It started with college students to be able to change the world one pair of jeans at a time. And secondly, it's creating another cotton product. So it it's really serves two purposes for us. And so, uh, how many how many pairs of jeans, if you know, does it take to insulate an entire house? An entire house takes 800 pair of jeans, uh, or pieces of denim, because any type of uh, denim product can be used. And so far, since since uh, 2006, we have collected 50,000 pieces of denim, which will allow us to eventually be able to insulate 100 homes for the needy. Okay, and tell me more about that, uh, Jana. You've sort of been organizing these drives. Where can people go to take their denim? Is it nationwide? Uh, well, Style House PR, our company, is the PR company for National Gene Company, which is a chain of retail stores throughout um, the eastern seaboard. Uh, this drive partic in particular is just in the New York stores, but um, people can find out more about it at nationalgenecompany.com. and really hope to work with Cotton Inc. more on a more national level in the future. But um, at this point, uh, the call to action now is to have people in the tri-state area come into National Gene Company stores now through Sunday, April 13th, and donate their denim. We're actually incentivizing customers by offering 20% off any new pairs of jeans when they come in. And uh, this weekend, uh, Saturday in the Willis Avenue store on Long Island and Sunday in the Manhattan store on 78th and 3rd, we're having an in-store event with trunk shows with a lot of different designers. Uh, we have 
uh, stylists in the store offering denim friendly spring style advice and it's all just to help drive more traffic into the store more donations and we really want to reach our goal of getting at least a thousand pairs of jeans to donate to Cotton Incorporated's cotton from Blue to Green. People could tie it to their spring cleaning, go clean out those closets. Exactly. <laughs> so where, uh, you guys are actually sending the insulation to various, uh, various Saturday in the Willis Avenue store on Long Island and Sunday in the Manhattan store on 78th and 3rd, we are having an in-store event with trunk shows with a lot of different designers. Uh, we have uh, stylists in the store offering denim friendly spring style advice and it's all just to help drive more traffic into the store, more donations and we really want to reach our goal of getting at least a thousand pairs of jeans to donate to Cotton Incorporated's cotton from blue to green. People could tie it to their spring cleaning, go clean out those closets. Exactly. <laughs> so where, uh, you guys are actually sending the insulation to very, a very specific part of the country. Tell me a little bit about that. The 2006 Denim Drive, all of those genes that were collected were sent to Habitat for Humanity in the Baton Rouge area as well as the New Orleans area and it built homes and benefited those people who were affected by the hurricanes that hit them very hard. So from blue to green, Jenna and Paula, thank you very much for joining us. Thank for you. Thank you. For more information, you can check out accesscotton.com.